Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a really good ball striking day for me. I think officially, uh, I think I hit 17 greens, and the one I missed was one inch in the fringe. So I mean, pretty much hit 18 greens today, and you know just gave myself opportunities all the way around. Obviously, I wasn't able to convert you know all of them, but you know made enough to to keep you know some good positive momentum throughout the round, and uh, you know just really carried through to the backside. Yeah, well, it's hard to say sometimes why you play well on certain golf courses. I, I enjoy this area. I enjoy this golf course. You know, it's one of my favorite tournaments of the year. And sometimes it's you know just having that positive attitude about it, look going into it. You know that that can make you play well. But uh, you know, I, I think something about it just kind of suits me. It suits my eye. I like the shots, and you know, I like bent grass greens. Obviously, they're they're a little rough this year, but yeah, you, know, you still make putts on them. So. How are the conditions out there? I mean, it's, it's soft. I mean, it's it's a lot softer than we're used to, and, and the greens definitely up, aren't up to their, their standard that, that we're used to around here. But, you know, they're doing the best they can. I mean, they definitely rolled them today, and they, they were rolling better than they had been in all the practice days. So that was that was nice to see. Uh, played very nice. It was uh, pretty steady, didn't get in any real, real trouble, and I uh, was able to kind of get it going on my back nine. So uh, I'm very, very pleased with today. I thought they were good. I mean, uh, I played with Ricky Fowler today, and he had a few putts that may have may have bumped a little bit. But um, you know, I, I thought we got him we got him at a pretty good time. And um, for me, I have, I have no complaints. Yeah, it'll be great. You know, it's just uh, we're a long way from the finish, so just uh, try to do more of the same and keep it you know keep it as simple as I can and see where I end up. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I, I I love coming here every year, and you know it's one of the, one of the best tournaments we have, and one of the best courses. So um, I, I really like it. It was uh, it was a good round. I played well today. I putted well. I hit the ball well, and it was uh, a good way to, to get started for the tournament. How different? Are just conditions, or temperature, and then obviously the course, etc., from usual. Well, in the morning when it was cooler, there was a little bit of drizzle and some and some wind. It was more difficult. As those went away and as it warmed up a little bit, it became easier and there were a lot of birdies out there. So uh, if, if you could start early and just make some pars, your birdie opportunities will come later. And that's kind of what happened for myself, for Nick Watney, and the guys that played well. You just kind of get through the tough holes with pars mm -hmm. and then capitalize on some of the birdie holes that are out there. And, and that's kind of what happened. I really enjoy playing here. I, th I think tee to green, it's one of the best golf courses I've ever seen. I just think it's a, a tremendous uh, a tremendous golf course and this tournament is uh, does all the th all the little things well and not only does it have a great course but it does all the little touches uh, for the players for the fans for the media uh, everybody that's part of this event they do such a great job that it's uh, so fun to come here and play and although I haven't broken through with the win I've played well here I've had good finishes and I just think that it's uh, I'm hopeful that it's just a matter of time Well, they, you know, they're 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 not as good as they have been, but they're in a transition period. You know, they're going to t uh, tear these up and put in uh, Bermuda. They're going to uh, soften, I think, some of the contours. And this, you know, this course, Tita Green, like I say, is so good that I think with uh, the right touches on the greens, I think it'll be one of the best courses anywhere in the world. Uh, when you have some, the beauty here is in its simplicity. And I think that sometimes on the greens, they, they might be overdone a little bit on the contouring and to detract away from the greatness of the place. And I think they're going to fix that. And, and I just think there's potential here to have one of the real gems in all of golf. You know, I don't know if I just got tired, but I made a couple of lazy swings on the tee on 8 and 9 where I just quit and the ball hooked and I, I missed it way right. And it cost me a bogey on 8 where I ended up right behind a tree trunk. And on 9, it should have cost me another shot because I hit, I mean, that was even worse than 8 by far. And I got fortunate to have some kind of shot back to the fairway, hit a decent wedge I thought was going to get closer, but made a, made a good putt. You know, the putter can make up for a lot of mistakes. The benefit of the doubt. I, j I think that we should all just cut a little slack and, and realize that there's a transition here at Quail Hollow as they, they get ready for the uh, PGA Championship in, I think, 17. You saw a whole different uh, short game facility. You're seeing different, uh, different greens, and they'll go to totally different grasses in a week or two. And so it's just a transition period, and we're fortunate that we're still be able to play here while they're transitioning into uh, the, the course for the PGA.